Okay. Now the tricky part is pouring the lime must without making a mess all over. This tends to be somewhat of a messy process. Give it a couple shakes and move it over to the other jug. Just there you go, perfect. Anything closer? Back to the first one. Now we're going to airlock the must, the wine must, <coughs> let it cool down. <laughs> Until it's, uh, 90, until it's 90 degrees or below. You don't want to put your yeast in at above 90 degrees because if you do, uh, the temperature will kill the yeast and your wine won't ferment. The wine is uh, cooled down to about 90 degrees. Now it's time to add the yeast. One package of yeast is uh, made for five gallons of wine. This particular yeast is getting a little bit old so it's losing its potency. I'm going to put about half a package in each in each uh, gallon. All you do is, is pour it in, let it set, settle. <coughs> The yeast will start growing immediately. The yeast will start growing immediately. It should start uh, bubbling really well in about 12 hours. Overall, it'll take about 72 hours to do a fi primary fermentation. Once the bubbling slows down to less than one bubble a minute, I'll rack the wine. That means uh, siphon the wine from these gallon jars and two more clean gallon jars, put the airlocks back on and let it do a secondary fermentation for about a week, a week more or less. Once uh, the airlocks completely stop bubbling, then it will be time to bottle the wine. Um, I'll, as soon as wine starts bubbling well, probably tomorrow, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. Thank you. The plum wine has been perking along for about 24 hours now. If you get in close here, you should be able to see bubbles rising and uh, happily growing there in the wine. That's all the yeast converting the sugar into alcohol. And slide on up and the airlock is bubbling away nice and steady. One over to the other bottle. Airlock is bubbling along very happily. This one, as you can see, fermenting so actively, the foam is coming right up the neck, and bubbles are actively going in this wine. The, the temperature of the house and the rate of fermentation, the process should be done with the primary fermentation in about 72 hours. And uh, 
once the bubbles slow down to less than one per minute, uh, rack the wine into clean gallon jugs. The reason I ra rack it into clean gallon jugs with secondary fermentation is so that the bulk of the sed sediment from the fermenting process is settling these first two bottles or, or jugs and then in the secondary fermentation which is much slower and should take about a week to two weeks before it finishes I'll get a fine amount of settlement, sediment in the bottom so that when I finally bottle it uh, the bottled wine should be uh, really clear no real sediment in the bottom okay, I'll, uh, we'll come back and check this out in about a week once the primary ferment or in a couple of days once primary fermentation is done